Where you store your fat matters. It's not just how much fat you have, but where it is. We know that fat stored underneath the skin in the subcutaneous compartment is metabolically more healthy than fat stored inside your abdominal cavity. This type of fat in the abdominal cavity known as visceral fat is much more likely to become inflamed and cause diabetes. Hi, I'm Dr. Marie Conley. Did you know that the location of stored fat in your body often determines how healthy that fat tissue is? There are three major types of fat or adipose tissue in your body, white, brown, and beige. White fat maintains energy balance in your body by storing triglycerides when you have too much of them and releasing them when you need to use them as fuel. Brown fat is primarily seen in infants and functions to generate heat. Beige fat is an intermediate between the two. Today, I'm referring to white adipose tissue only. White fat can be characterized by where it is stored in the body. There are three major types of, of white fat. Subcutaneous fat, just underneath the skin, visceral fat in the abdominal cavity, and ectopic fat, fat stored in other organs. Subcutaneous fat is found just underneath the skin. It's the kind of fat that you can pinch with your fingers. Men and older women tend to store subcutaneous fat over the abdomen, while premenopausal women tend to store it in the gluteal and femoral areas. Visceral fat, the more unhealthy type, is found inside the abdominal cavity, or intraperitoneal fat, and also directly behind it near the kidneys, and this is retroperitoneal fat. The epicardial fat layer covering 80% of your heart is also considered to be visceral fat. Ectopic fat, also unhealthy, refers to fat that has infiltrated organs not designed to store fat, such as the liver, heart, muscle, pancreas, and kidneys. Your sex, ethnicity, and age determine whether you store fat in the subcutaneous, more healthy, versus the visceral, less healthy, compartment. Premenopausal women tend to store fat in the subcutaneous compartment, while men tend to spend more, store more fat in the visceral compartment. As women age and their estrogen levels drop, they also start to store more fat in the visceral compartment. Even ethnicity can make a difference. Individuals born on the Indian subcontinent tend to have more ectopic fat particularly in the liver. This may explain why South Asians are more likely to develop diabetes at a lower weight and at a younger age than whites. So why is fat stored inside the abdomen more unhealthy than fat stored underneath the skin? Visceral fat is much more likely to become inflamed and release chemical messengers or cytokines that can increase the risk of metabolic disease. In addition, blood vessels that supply visceral fat drain directly into the liver. So all these inflammatory cytokines and excess triglycerides are funneled straight to the liver, increasing your risk of fatty liver disease. In contrast, the blood from subcutaneous fat drains into the systemic circulation of the entire body where it's diluted and has less impact on your liver. Another problem with visceral fat is that it can overflow into other organs leading to unhealthy ectopic fat deposition. If you eat too much, the excess nutrients are stored as triglycerides, which are dumped into visceral fat. These fat cells get bigger and bigger as they stuff more triglycerides into their fat droplets. This process is adipocyte hypertrophy. However, once the fat cell or adipocyte reaches a critical size of approximately 100 micrometers in diameter, it outgrows its blood supply. Lacking adequate oxygen, the enlarged fat cell can no longer survive and it becomes inflamed and surrounded by scavenger immune cells called macrophages. The overloaded and oxygen-starved adipocyte can no longer store any more triglycerides so the excess overflows to other organs, such as the liver, muscle, kidneys, heart, and pancreas. This ectopic fat can affect the way your entire body works, particularly fat that is deposited in the liver. 
and in the muscle. For example, fatty liver disease often precedes a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes. You can use a SMART scale, which often uses a bioelectrical impedance to conveniently estimate the amount of subcutaneous and visceral fat in your body. Although this method is not highly accurate, it can give you a general estimate of where your body fat is stored, visceral or subcutaneous. Thank you for listening. I hope this is helpful for you.